Now we ask you about us in prayer and meditation. Elder Chamber shall lead us in prayer. Wonderful, precious Lord Jesus. We're thanking you again for your loving kindness and your tender mercy that you have bestowed upon your people. Lord Jesus, we thank you again for adding another day unto our lives. Father, we are asking you one more time. Lord Jesus, that you bless this broadcast that's going out by way of radio. Lord God, we are praying for our pastor, Apostle Bishop Belton Green. Oh God, we are asking you to touch him again from the crown of the head. Give him victory upon victory. Bless him, Lord Jesus, as he goes through his affliction. Help him, Lord Jesus, to hold on and run this race with patience. Father, we are asking you to bless his assistant, Bishop Melvin Samuels. As he comes forth with the word of God, Lord Jesus, send out your word. Heal and deliver that somebody's heart will cry out, I am blessed. Bless your people everywhere, Lord Jesus. Remember those that are sick, those that are cast down, oppressed of the devil. Lord Jesus, send out your word. Heal and deliver, Lord Jesus. Let the people serve you. Let the people love you with all their heart. Lord Jesus, we thank you for the joy that's in the Holy Temple Church. Thank you for the beauty of salvation. Let your people love you, Lord Jesus, and hear thee out of thy eternal word. Lord Jesus, we're praying for the choir as they sing the songs of Zion, that somebody's heart will be refreshed. Someone will be encouraged. Lord Jesus, teach us how to love thee. Lord God, you have said in the word, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Send out your word. Heal and deliver, Lord Jesus. Rebuke the power of darkness. Rebuke the power of Satan. And set your people free. And give us victory upon victory. We tell you thanks. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. Even for the glory of God. In Jesus name. Amen. Friends and neighbors, you're tuned to the Bible True Gospel Radio Service coming to you from the Holy Temple Church of the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostolic Faith. Bishop Belton Green invites you to visit here to Headquarters Temple, located at 2075 Clinton Avenue, Bronx, New York City. Service Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, 7.30 p.m. Sunday, noonday. Now, in case you're interested in reading some biblical literature, the mailing address is Bishop Belton Green, P.O. Box 523, Bronx, New York, zip code 10457. It will be sent to you free of charge. We will now select you from the Holy Temple Senior Radio Choir, dedicated to our radio listeners entitled Higher Ground. I'm pressing on the I'm gaining each and every day. Still, I am praying as I'm onward bound. Pressing on the upward way, new heights I'm gaining each and every day. Still, I am praying. As I'm onward bound, Lord, plant my feet on higher, higher ground. Lord, lift me up. 
Help me to stand my face on heaven. Tune to the Bible to God's radio service coming to you from the Holy Temple Church of the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostolic Faith. Bishop Belton Green invites you to visit us here at the Headquarters Temple, located at 2075 Clinton Avenue, Bronx, New York City. Service Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, 7:30 p.m. Sunday, noonday. Nine case you're interested in reading some biblical literature. The mailing address is Bishop Belton Green, P.O. Box 523, Bronx, New York, zip code 10457. It will be sent to you free of charge. Dear listeners, you're invited to visit the Holy Temple Church located as follows. Headquarters, New York City, 2075 Clinton Avenue, Bronx, New York. Bishop Green, Apostle, Pastor, and General Overseer. Bishop Melvin Samuel, Assistant. Washington, D.C., 2635 Martin Luther King, Jr. Avenue. Bishop Melvin Samuel, Pastor, Minister Thomas Norwood, Assistant. Norfolk, Virginia, 800 Elkin Street on the corner, Capistel and Elkin Street. Elder Lee Taylor, Pastor. Petersburg, Virginia, 23 South Jefferson Street. Elder Douglas Robinson, Pastor, Minister Mark Woodlock, Assistant. 
Lost to Virginia Route 17 near the White Marsh Shopping Center. Elder Robert William in charge of Minister Ernest Page Assistant. Evergreen, North Carolina 103 62 on Lumberton Road near the Atlantic Crossroad. Elder Samuel Wilder Pastor. Wilson, North Carolina 48 North Pender Street. Bishop Green Pastor, Minister Titus Dixon Assistant. Columbia, South Carolina 5800 North Main Street. Bishop Melvin Samuel Pastor, Bishop Randy Mack Assistant. Yamasee, South Carolina, number two, Wall Street on the Highway 17. In the Yamasee Business District, Bishop Willie Bleach Pastor. Greenville, South Carolina, West Washington Street, Bishop Curtis Ford Pastor. Memphis, Tennessee, 3196 Ford Road, Bishop Samuel Wills Pastor. Jacksonville, Florida, 702 Lafayette Street on the corner of Albert and Lafayette, Elder Philip Boston Pastor. Tamlin, Florida, 2385 Contra Drive. Bishop Green Pastor, Academic and Charles Jones in charge. Toronto, Canada, 475 Eddie Stone Avenue, Unit 23, located near Jane and Flinch, Bishop Carl Noah Pastor. Now at this time, it is my pleasure to present unto you from the Holy Temple Church of the Lord Jesus Christ, the next voice you hear, Bishop Melvin Simon. Cry loud. Spare now, oh, I'm going to lift up my voice like a trumpet sound. Show my people their transgression for oh, the house. Oh, cry out, spear now. Oh, I want to lift up your voice like a trumpet sound. Show my people their transgression for the house. Voice like a trumpet sound. Show my people their transgression for the house. Oh, cry loud, spear now. I want to lift up. Your voice like a trumpet. Oh, show my people their transgress for the house of Jacob. Yes, yes. Amen. Amen. Let the church say, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord again. Praise the Lord. Truly indeed again we are bound to give great honor, praise to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the head of our life, the one who is worthy of all the praise. Indeed he is worthy of all the honor, all that we can render to God Almighty. He's worthy of it all. Oh, yes. And truly, we want to thank God. We want to praise God from the depths of our heart for all that he has done for us and that which he's still going to do. We do honor our very own beloved Bishop and Apostle, Bishop Belton Green, praise thanking God. God always for him, thanking God for him. Allow me. One more time to come before you all and read a line far and near, filling in his stead, thanking God for the word of God because it's going to live it and it's going to abide it forever. No man going to be able to come along to change the purpose of God. So the word, I thank God for this song. 
Because if there is ever a time to cry loud, yes. my God said, lift up a voice as a trumpet sound. Show my people their transgression. Their transgression. In the, house of Jacob. the Holy Ghost said cry. Yes. The Holy Ghost said cry. Hallelujah. Say a voice say cry. What shall I cry? My God, it tell him in Isaiah 58 and 1. Say cry loud. Cry loud. Ain't no time to play around. I thank God for the blessing of the Lord coming in our midst. The wonderful time we have here this morning. The people of God praising God and rejoicing in the Lord. You know, it's a blessing, saints. Let me tell you, we are a blessed people. There ain't no time to play around. No, Playing sir. days done over. My God, plain time done over. You know, I was here sitting down and the scripture dropped in my heart. Some reason it just dropped in my heart so strong. You know, in Proverbs, I believe, 18 and 12. Oh, destruction coming upon this old world. I see something coming upon this world. My God, uh, the word of God say, I think it's Proverbs 18 and 12. What did it say? Proverbs 18 and 12. Yes, sir. Praise God. Read on. The lot. Uh -huh. Before destruction. That's what I want. Yeah, something destruction coming. Don't let nobody fool you, saints. Yeah. Destruction coming. My God, the Holy Ghost said, before, before destruction. The heart of man is haughty. Man, heart is done, lifted up now. The heart is so haughty. My God, you can't do nothing with them. But destruction coming. Before destruction. The man is halted. It's coming. Stay there with your hearty and lifted up heart. But destruction coming. I'm going to warn you. The Holy Ghost said cry loud yeah. and spear not. Before this, that same like it was in the days of Noah. My God, they were doing all the wickedness. My God, but before destruction, the heart of man, the heart of man, is haughty. Is you oh, what I'm God warning this whole world? Destruction coming. My God, the heart of man is haughty. Read on. And before honor is oh, humility. Oh, you're gonna be humiliated. You're gonna have to go through something along this highway of holiness. But stay with God, saints. Yes. Stay with God. I'm warning the people. Hey, Jesus said, as it were in the days and now, so shall it be when the Son of Man cometh. You better get me. You better get me that scripture in Genesis chapter 6 yes. and 1. As it were in the days of now. My God, my God, you better get, let me hear what Jesus said. Genesis, Genesis. Chapter 6, verse 1. Yes. And it came to pass. It came to pass. When man began to multiply. Read on. On the face of the earth. On the face of the and earth. And the daughter were born unto them. Daughter were born unto them. And the sons of God saw the daughter of men. Oh, read on. That they were fair. They were fair. And they took them wives of all which they chose. All right. And the Lord said, my spirit. God looking right at it now. He looking at, but I'm thanking God for the ones that have a mind to run for the life now. I thank God for the trip down to Florida. Amen. Thanking God for souls that are waking up. Thanking God for the two, uh, Jacksonville, Florida, the two that came and took the right hand of fellowship. Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ. Thanking God for the soul, the, the two that came back, the minister and the sister that came back. Thank God I got back here Thursday morning and then I got a call. Somebody say, I was trying to get to you Wednesday night, but I couldn't make it. I've been under, this queen. I've been left a long time gone, but I want to come on back. He, I said, uh, say, you can come on back tonight. Go on back there Friday night. Thank God he called me. He said, I'm so glad I'm back in the holy temple. Amen. I'm back. Amen. 
Thank Praise God for Lord. what the Lord is doing among Amen. us. My God, I thank God for the people of God that are waking up. Got a call from Fort Myers yesterday. Fort Myers cry out. They're calling me. The brothers say, I've been around listening to Bishop Green for years and hearing Bishop Green, but I never got baptized. I hear you also, but now I want me and my whole family in Fort Myers to get baptized Praise in the, the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. I tell him, I say, how far are you from Jacksonville? He say, I'm four and a half hours. I say, some way you make haste. Ain't no time to linger. You got to be on it. He say, I can't wait. I need the water baptism. In the name of Jesus Christ. And his heart are crying out. Souls are crying out. Thank God we were here yesterday and you get a phone call. They call on the office phone and say, uh, um, um, uh, Pastor, I want to come over uh, and talk to you. I say, uh, how far you are from He said, I'm, I'm in Southern Boulevard. I look at the church all the time. But I want to come. I want to get my life together. Thank God for honest heart, saints. The people of God are waking up and running for the life. Listen what the word of God says. The Lord said, the Lord said my spirit. Hallelujah. God ain't going to put up with this old wicked world. My spirit shall not always strive with man. Not always strive with man. That he's also his flesh. He, uh, God said, and he said, all flesh is grass. Yes. He also is flesh. Yet his days shall be 120 years. Yes. And there were giant in the earth in those My days. My God, I don't care who you are. My God, everything going to have to obey God's word. There were giants in the earth in those days. In the earth in those days. Also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughter of men. Read on. They bared children to them. To them. The same became mighty men. I don't care how mighty you are, beloved. You're going to have to obey God's word. I don't care how mighty you are. You got to obey God's word. Hallelujah. My God, mighty man. The mighty man. Mighty man. Which were of old men. Mighty men. Mighty men going to have to humble down. Mighty man. Mighty man. Yes. Mighty man. Which were of old. Which were of old. Men of renown. Men of renown. And God saw that the wickedness of man. God was looking at the wickedness right now. Man think they get in by, but you're not getting by, beloved. God looking at the wickedness right now. The wickedness of man is great, great in the earth. In the earth. And that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart. Every imagination. Every imagination. Even man and seducer waxing worse and worse, deceiving every imagination. Yes, of the thoughts of his heart. Of his heart. It's only evil continues. That's why I'm warning you. I thank God for you, Brother Christopher. See, I want me and my whole family in Fort Myers. I want to come and get back. Baptized. My God, see, I can't wait to be baptized. My God, my God, and his heart are crying out. Imagination are evil yes. continually. Read yes. on. And it repented the Lord. It repented the Lord. That he had made man on that the earth. Made man on the earth. And it grieved him at his heart. You know, you grieve in God. Say, of the rock that begot in thee. Thou art unmindful and have forgotten God that formed thee. You're grieving. You're not grieving. You are grieving God. It grieved him. At his heart. All that God has done for us. And you become unmindful. God is so grieved. Do you know what he say? How grieved he is. What he getting ready to do to this world. I think it's Deuteronomy 32, 18. And I'm going back where it grieved him at his heart. God is so grieved. He's looking right at the wickedness now. Read on. Of the rock that begat thee. Of the rock that begat in thee. Oh, I'm mindful. My God, the worst thing you can ever become is to become unmindful of yes. God's word. Thou art unmindful. I have God. You done forgot God, beloved. You done forgot your maker. 
have forgotten God that formed thee. And when the Lord saw, he abhorred them. He abhorred them. Because of the provoking of his sons and of his You sons. are provoking God. All the mighty work that God have done. And you're out there. War obey God. You are provoking your maker. Yeah. Provoking. Of his son and of his daughter. Read on. And he said I will hide my face from them. God said. One of the places that when you make many pray. I won't hear you. I'm going to hide the worst thing. Yeah. You want to do is for God hide his face from you. My God. You don't, you don't want God to hide his face from you. You're in trouble. My God, read on. I will see what the end shall be. I will, and he know that without him we can do nothing. Amen. I'm going to see what the end shall be. What the end shall be. For there are very forward generations. Forward generation. Children whom is no faith. My God don't have no faith. Read on. They have moved me to jealousy. You are, you are provoking God. You are moving God to jealousy. That which is not God. With which is not God. They have provoked thee to anger. You're provoking. You don't want to fall in the hands of an angry God, I beloved. You it. better make haste and come on out. My God, you better get busy now. You're provoking God yeah. to anger. And the, with their vanity. With, with your vanity. And I will move them to jealousy. God say, I'm going to move. You're provoking God to anger. With your vanity. And I will move them say, to before jealousy. Before destruction, yes. your heart doesn't get hardy and lifted up. But you are provoking God to anger. And with their vanity. With their vanity. And I will move them to jealousy. Read on. With those which are not a people. Read on. I will provoke them to anger. To anger. With a foolish nation. Read on. For a fire. A fire. It's killing my anger. Hallelujah. God say I'm going to burn up everything. A fire. My God, I believe God. A fire. I believe it's got to come. My God, God is not a man that he should lie. If he say he going to burn it up, a fire is kindling my anger. It's kindling my anger. It shall burn unto it, the Lord's hell. Do you hear what it say? It's going to burn. Hallelujah. 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 It's going to burn up everything. Unto the lowest hell. It shall consume the earth. My God, everything coming down. But the word of God, everything coming down is going to consume all what you're building and all what you're glory in. And won't come and serve God. God say, I'm going to consume it. Yeah. I'm going to consume the with earth her increase. with her increase. And set on fire. Uh, set, do you hear what God say? I'm going to set on fire. The foundation of My the God, God going to burn it up. He gonna burn. I want let me tell you now. I was a wise man. You better get me. Me Hebrews chapter eleven and seven. Oh, now I been warned by God. Oh, now I was a wise man. I thank God for the wise-hearted people of God that are running for their life. Now I was a wise man. Yes. What the word of God by said. Faith. By faith. No being of you God. You know when God warned you, you are wise when you can take God warning. You are wise. Warned Why are you God. over here? Because I've been warned by God. Why are you in the church? My God, I, 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 I've been warned what it's going to be. Hallelujah. Somebody used to sing a song. Say, I'm going to run on. Seeing what the end going to be. But I know what it's going to be. I'm not trying to see. I know what the end going to be. I know. I sing it. Say, I'm, being, I'm running on. I'm knowing what the end's going to be. Hallelujah. God going to burn up everything. Read on, sir. By faith. By faith. You're being warned of God. Now I've been warned by God. The things not seen not as yet. Not seen as yet. Move with fear. Move with fear. Prepare the ark to the saving of his house. Saving. Of his house. Save yourself, beloved. Save yourself. Don't stay out there. 
Do something. I thank yes. God. You know, that brother make me so happy in Fort Myers. He said, I want my, I said, oh, he said, my children, them 20, 20 years old, but I want everybody to get baptized. Amen. My God, he said, Praise I God. want to get baptized. I know what the word of God says. Read on. By faith, no uh, being one of God. One of God. Of things not seen as yet. No, yes, that's what people say. I don't believe it. I don't. Your unbelief going to cost oh, you to yes. be lost. In the days and hour, mm. my God, it never rain on the face of the earth. My God, but God says it's going to rain. But the unbelief, going back to Genesis yeah. chapter 6, the unbelief kept them out from coming in the ark. It's a blessing when you can obey God's word. Don't let your unbelief stop you from coming in the church. My God, now uh, I mean, Apostle Paul was having a hard time on the ship. It was tossed to and fro. They have a wind came along named Eurotodom and started to shake them and toss them. After many days, things looked bad. Neither sun nor star arrived. But in the midst of it all, Apostle Paul says, Sir, I believe God. I believe Hallelujah. it's going to be just yes. like God have said it. When a man or a woman don't believe God's word, my God, you're going to obey God's word. Sir, I believe God. Some want to jump off board, but he says, except you stay in the ship. My God, you cannot be saved. Ain't no time to jump overboard. People are jumping off, hopping off and hopping in. But one day it's going to be too late. My God, you got to get in and stay in. Read in Genesis chapter 6 where we left off. Read on. God said, the Lord said, I will destroy man. God said, do you hear what God said? I'm going to destroy man. Man, yes, you whom know. I have created. God is your, your creator. He's the boss. Thank God Bishop Green used to say he's the big boss. He is not, he's not just the small boss. He is the big boss. I'm going to destroy man. Whom I have created. I'm going to destroy man. God said I'm going to destroy man. If God said it. And he got the power because he is the creator. Oh, yes. And you know what he said? I believe in Isaiah chapter 40 and 6. He said, a voice say cry. He said, what shall I cry? All flesh. All flesh. All flesh is cry. Hallelujah. The I voice say cry. I, I don't care how big that flesh act. I don't care how it act around. I don't care if he ri riding in, a, in the jet plane. I don't care if he have his own jet plane. I don't care if he have his own limousine. Have chauffeur, chauffeuring around. That's still gross. All flesh. A voice say cry. And the voice say cry. Read on. And he said, what, what shall, I, shall cry? I cry? All flesh. All flesh. All flesh. All flesh Hallelujah. All flesh. All flesh is grass. Is grass. And all the goodliness of thereof. I don't care how good it looks. Yes. My God is still grass. All the goodliness thereof. And that's the flower of the is field. Of the flower of the field. The grass withers. That grass, that grass, after a while, you're withering away from here. Mm -hmm. One day you're going to wither from here. Yes. The grass wither. Yes, and the flower thereof fades. Uh, read on. Yes. Hallelujah. Read and on. The spirit of and the Lord. Uh, read on. Blow it upon Blow it. Blow it upon it. Surely the people's grass. Do you hear what the word of God said? Surely. No may be so about it. Saints, I'm telling you, it's a blessing to be in God church. You don't know how good I feel being God church. I may not have all what others and what this, uh, but I let me tell you, I'm content. Godliness with contentment is great gain. I may not have a whole lot, but they say a liquor that a righteous man of. Hallelujah. Is better than the riches. I gotta beat the rich men out. I got eternal life. Don't worry about it. I got it. My God, I'm happy about it. 
I beat the millionaire out. My God, oh Lazarus, he never have a lot. Lazarus desired the crumbs that fell from the rich man table. He was full of sore. The dog came and licked his sore. But the rich man, he got it made. He fought some such thing every day. He got everything, flesh desire. But there was a day the table turned. Saints, the table gonna turn. Don't let no man provoke you. My God, wait on God. The table gonna turn. The table will turn for Lazarus. My God, Lazarus die and the angel took him and carry on up into Abraham's bosom my God the rich man also died my God but his it didn't it, it wasn't too good for him my God said in hell he lifted up his eyes being in tormented and he and he saw uh, Lazarus afar off in Abraham's bosom. He cried and said, Father Abraham, send Lazarus, the one, the beggar, my God, that was full of soul, that he might tip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I'm tormented in this flame. God. My God, he said unto him, son, remember, God gonna turn the table back on you. My God, remember, thou in thy lifetime, you have a lot of good things, but Abraham, evil, but now the table turned. He's comforted, and thou art in tormented. Not only that, if I could send him, there is a great gulf fix between you and him. Now none can pass to and fro. What a blessing to take warning before it's too late. Amen. He said, Father Abraham, I pray you, send, I have some brothers there. Let's warn them, lest they come into this place of torment. We are warning you out there. Sometimes I feel like getting out on the street and warn the people. My God, we want you used to travel out there. I used to preach it in the prison. Hope they open up again where I can go on back to warn those that are in prison and warn them everyone. You that are out there, my God, we feel like getting a bullhorn and run up and down the street. Say, come out! You better run for your life. You better run for your life. Ain't no time to play around. It's time to run for your life. We are warning the people. You are making a mockery now. But the Holy Ghost says, sir, over there in Ecclesiastic, I believe, chapter 8 and verse 11. My God, you better back me up with Bible. Line up and line. Precept up and precept. Here a little and there a little. Ecclesiastic chapter 8 and verse 11 because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily the heart of the son of man you're so set in you to do evil though a sinner do evil a hundred times it grace. look like you're getting by but I'm warning you you're not getting by. Nobody gonna get by God. Nobody gonna get around God. Amen. My God, because a sinner, though a sinner do evil a hundred times, and his day be prolonged. What he said? Sh yes, surely. Surely! I know. My God, surely, I surely. know. Read on. I know that I, it shall be well with them. It's going to be all right with us, saints. Well with them. With them. That fear God. That fear God. We fear before him. Fear before him. But it shall not be well with the wicked. All right. You that are out there doing wickedly. You that are out there doing as you please. The Holy Ghost said it won't be well. It shall not be well. With the wicked. It seems like it's going yeah, all right. That's right but the Holy Ghost said there, is a, there yeah. is a way that seemeth right to a man. But the end thereof, you better look at the end. Destruction. The end thereof, beloved, is destruction. So I'm warning you to come on out. 
Come on out. Fin that tribe finished me up there in Genesis. He moved. My God, listen what the Holy Ghost said. God said, I will destroy man. God said, I'm going to destroy man whom, I have created. whom I've created from the face of, earth. The, face of the earth. Man, man and beasts and, and creeping things. Read on. And fowls of the air. Fowls of the air. For it repented me. It repented that me. I made them. Read on. But Noah. Now. Found grace. What a blessing, saints. Now I found grace. Yes. Read on. Noah found grace in the eyes of the in Lord. In the eyes of the Lord. Praise God. Read on. These are the generation of Noah. Yes. Noah was a just man. Noah was a just man. And perfect in his generation. Perfect in his generation. And Noah walked before God. Noah, he walked before God. Yes. Read on. The earth also was corrupt. Was corrupt. Before God. Read on. The earth was filled with violence. Read on. Praise God. Yeah, read. Good, Bishop. Go ahead. Read Amen. on. And the Lord said, I will destroy man. I will destroy man. Whom I have created from the face of the earth. From the face of the Both earth. Man and beast. Man and beast. And creeping things. Creeping things. And fowls of the air. Fowls of the air. Boy, repent of me that uh, I made man upon uh, the uh, Read on. But Noah found grace. Read on. In the eyes of the Lord. In the eyes of the Lord. These are the generation of Noah. Read on. Noah was a just man. He was a just man. And bless, perfect. He's a blessing to be just. Read on. Noah and was perfect. A and perfect in his generation. In his generation. And Noah walked with God. Was somebody going to walk with God yeah. in the midst of everything? Now I say, I'm going to walk with God. Now I walk with God. Noah, what a blessing to walk with God. Don't let nothing stop you to walk with God. Somebody say, I've decided. My God, I'm going to take a stand. I decided. You might have to lose somebody Amen. close to you, but walk with God. You might have to lose some close friend, but walk with God. Amen. I lose a lot. He say, I suffer the loss of all things. Count it back down. I'm going to walk with God. I might have to lose somebody close to me, but I'm going to walk Amen. with God. I, God uh, I might have to lose my very best friend, but I'm going to walk with God. I lose a lot. I lose a lot that was dear to me. But I decided I'm going to take a stand. I decided hallelujah I'm going to take a stand even though I might lose my very best friend. Oh saints you might lose somebody close but I'm going to stand. What you standing for? Stand for holiness. I'm standing for righteousness. Hallelujah. For I say all men forsook me. But God stood by me. As long as God is standing with me. I will come out. I will come out. David said yea though. I walk through the valley. Of the shadow of death. I won't fear no evil. For thou art. You with me. You rather than thy stuff. Now come forth me. You prepare us a table for me in the presence of my enemy. Hallelujah. I'm going to stand. I'm going to walk with God. Now I walk with yes. God in spite of everything. In spite. My brother, my minister will testify how he admire me. Say in spite of all the criticism I go through, people talk about you. You got to walk with God anyhow. Yes. Don't let talk move you. My God, he sing my song. Still on board. Still on board. I thank God Almighty. I'm still on board. In spite of the hardship. In spite of the criticism. Paul said, I endure all things for the elect's sake. It take a well-made up mind. You're going to be despised. You're going to be rejected. Consider him the one that will follow you one who you're following and holy faith you're gonna be talk about you're gonna be despised ah this is what the word says but no now what uh, they found grace in the eyes, in of, the the eyes of the lord and these are the, so generation, these are the of generation of no he was a just man perfect a perfect in, in his generation no, walk with god. can you walk with god Amen. 
I'm going to take a stand. Even though I might lose my very best friend. But that's all right. I'm going to walk with God. Somebody say, I decided to follow Jesus. Hallelujah. In following him, Isaiah tell you what it's going to take to follow him. Let me breathe. Get me Isaiah 53 and 1. Who shall believe our report? To whom? Is the arm of the Lord revealed? Read on. Who has believed our report? Read on. To whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Revealed. He shall grow up. Up. Before him as a tender plant. Tender plant. As a root out of dry ground. Root out of a dry he ground. Has no form, no comeliness. No form, no comeliness. And when we shall see him. When we shall see him. There is no beauty that we should desire him. Read on. He is despised. Sometimes the first people follow in him. Say he was. He Our example, yes. we should first as somebody talk about somebody to get mad and ready to give it up. But you're going to be despised along this highway of holiness. He was despised. Men. men reject him. Amen. Read on. A man of sorrow. Men of sorrow. And acquainted with grief. Oh, you got to acquaint yourself with him. He was acquainted with grief. And we hid as it were our face from him. Read on. He was despised. Oh, he was despised. He was not. Don't think you're going to follow him and everybody's going to pat on. you on your back. That's why he said, endure hardness as a good soldier for Jesus Christ. Endure that thing. I God, read on. He, he was despised. He him not. Not. Surely. Surely. He has borne our grief. Read on. And carried our sorrow. Carry our sorrow. He did esteem them stricken. Uh, stricken. Smitten of God. Submitted of God. And afflicted. And afflicted. But he was wounded. He was wounded. I God, Isaiah said, I see him wounded. For our transgression, was for, our for our iniquity, the chastisement of our peace, uh, our peace was, upon him. was upon him. With his stripes, With his stripes we are healed. We, are healed. We, were like sheep. we were like sheep. Have gone astray. Everything done gone astray. He said, I look and there was none to help. He said, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Yes. But here come the mighty God coming on to 40 and two generations. There was none to help but with my own arms. I bring in salvation. Read on, sir. Yeah, we Read. were like sheep. We have gone astray. Gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. Every man done gone to his own ways. And the Lord. The Lord. And laid on him the iniquity of us the all. The iniquity of us all. He was oppressed. He, he was what? He was oppressed. You're going to be oppressed sometime. He was oppressed. He was afflicted. He was afflicted. Yet open not his mouth. Oh, he never say a mumbling word. Amen. Not a mumbling word. Diliada. Read on. Yet open not his not mouth. Not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb as to, a, the slaughter. to the slaughter. As a sheep before a shear. Before a shearer. Was dumb. Was dumb. So open he not his he mouth. He wouldn't open his mouth. He was taken yeah. from prison. Oh, saints, let me tell you it's something to follow him. You better go on back to Genesis. I want to yeah. conclude it up there. My God, man, don't see, don't see the fire now. But uh, they're, they're glorying and going on now. Just like they didn't see the water. He said, I'm going to destroy men yes. from off the face of this earth. Read on. And the Lord. Yes. And these are generation Noah. Read on. Noah was a just man. A just man. And perfect in his generation. In his generation. Noah walked with God. Now I walk with Noah God. Noah got three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Read on. The earth also was corrupt. God, look in this world. world is corrupt. Before God. It's God. It, you might look good before man. But Come before on, God. The earth was corrupt before God. Before God. Yes. You might think you're perfect before man. But before God. That's it, Bishop. God said it's corrupt. Yes, and the earth was filled with violence. Filled. Well, you know we are living in the last days. Filled with violence. And God looked upon the earth. God looked upon the earth. Behold, it was corrupt. 
God looking at it right now. Amen. It is corrupt. God said, corrupt his ways upon the earth. Up on the earth. And God said unto Noah. God said unto Noah. The end of all flesh is come. My God, I'm going to consume. The end is here. The end is here. Amen. Praise God. Read on, sir. The end of all flesh is come. Is come. Before me. Before me. The earth is filled with violence through them. Filled with violence. Through them. Through them. And behold, I will destroy them with the earth. With the earth. Make thee an ark of gopher wood. My God, read on. Of gopher wood, room shall thou make in the ark. Tell him what to do. Thou shalt pitch it within and without uh, with pitch. And you know what? And he said he did. What is it? Yes. He obeyed. Thus said Noah, according to all the commandment, is a blessing. He so did he. Is a blessing when you do according to what God come on you. Amen. You are blessed, beloved. I'm warning you now, just like Lot. Lot did the same thing over there in Genesis 19 and 12. He said, have you any? He said, God sent us to destroy it. I'm warning the world now. You better get busy and come out. He said in Genesis chapter 19 and 12, what he said? The man said unto Lot. Said unto Lot. I hear any beside sons-in-law. All right. And thy son and thy daughter. And thy son and thy daughter. Whatever thou hast in the city. Do you hear, beloved, you that are you that place. are out there not yet baptized in the name of Jesus Christ? You that was in and went out, you better get busy. Bring them out of this place. Of this place. For we will destroy this place. We God says is gonna destroy it. Ain't no time to linger. Lot was lingering, but he said, haste. All of you out there not yet baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin. You better start to make haste now. Haste. So get thee out of here. Because God going to destroy. Some were mocking. It seems as one that were mock. But don't pay attention to people. You better go ahead and obey God. My God, you better obey God, beloved. If you're not yet baptized, close me out in Revelation chapter 18, 1. My God, if you're here, uh, wherever you are, under the sound of my voice, hear this gospel, not yet baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin. It's time for you to run for your life. My God, you better hurry up, call us up, like many others out here that are calling in. I thank God for that, Brother Christopher. My God, I can't wait to get somebody to baptize him and his household in Fort Myers. My my God, what they say? Genesis, the Revelation 18 and 1. What and after it? these things, uh, I saw another angel come down from heaven. Come down from heaven. Having great power. Power. The earth was lightened with his glory. Read on. And cried mighty with a strong voice, saying, Saying, Babylon the greatest fallen. This thing is coming down. It's falling. It's falling. It's falling. It's become the habitation of devils. Of devils. The hold of every foul spirit and cage of every unclean and hateful bird. Every unclean, hateful bird. And all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath. Read on. And the fornication and the kings of the earth. Read on. Committed fornication with her. Read on. And the merchant of the earth were wax rich. Read on. Through the abundance of Adelisky. Read on. And I heard another voice from heaven saying. That's it. That's what I'm warning you now. Come out. What did it say? Come out. Come out. That's a direct order from God. Come out. Come out. It's not requesting. He giving it a direct order to come out. Her, my people. Wherever you are and hear this gospel, you better pick up the phone right now. Call us up. You better run for your life. Brother talking, I might have to drive up there to see you all. Whatever way you got to get it. Come on. All right. God bless you. God keep you. My God, you better call us up. You got to repent. You got to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. You that are out there, you better come with us. Come out. God bless you. We'll be back next week, Lord's willing, the same station, same hour, same day. You can call us at 718. 584-0691 international caller can call via WhatsApp at 803 
518-545-5454. You may also visit us on the web at www.theholytemplechurch.net. Again, you can visit us on the web at www.theholytemplechurch.net. Until then, may God richly bless you as I pray. Amen. Behind me, Satan. I got a race to run. Oh, good behind me, Satan. I got a race to run. Oh, got to bring God a race to run. Oh, behind me, Satan. I got a race to run. Oh, get behind me, Satan. saints of God, I have no doubt in my heart, it's going to be just like God said it. It's going to be like God said it, saints. The purpose of God not going to be changed. I'm so glad to be in God's church. All I can encourage you, you that are saved, stay saved. And you that are not yet saved, get saved. Because it's going to be just like God said it. Have no doubt the purpose of God not going to be changed. That's why, you know, unbelief is a terrible thing. Unbelief stopped them from going in the ark. Amen. It never rained. It never rained on the face of the earth. So they didn't believe it. Now I were building the ark. No doubt they were mocking him. They were criticizing. That's why Jew came along and said, these are mockers, murmurers. Always somebody going to mock and murmur. But right. now, I, now I, he said, now I did according to the commandment of God. Saints, that's your blessing when you do it according as God come on you. Right? God, God said, repent. And be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. For it's going to be, let me tell you, saying, God going to bring down everything. The lofty looks, 
you know, God going to bring everything down. That's right, everything coming down. But the word of God. Hey, God, you know, God going to bring it down. That's why you don't get, don't let people offset you now. Oh, with the lofty looks. Man. You better get, let me hear what Isaiah say about it. Isaiah chapter, uh, I think it's five, and you can start at 11. You know, God, God everything going to, hell going to humble everything. Man. Oh, yes, sir. Hell, some people got some stout word now. My God, the jaw deep will cut you like a knife. But hell going to humble them. Hell going to bring everything down. Read on what it says. Yes, sir. Woe unto them. God said, woe. Unto them. Anytime God said, woe, you better run. Woe unto them. That rise up early in the morning. Early in the morning. They follow strong drink. Follow strong drink. That continue unto night. Read on. To wine and flame them. And flame them. The harps and the vows and the tabret. Read on. The pipes and the wine are in their feasts. In their feasts. But they regard not the word of the Lord. Some people just bold. Don't regard it. So I'm in and get out and come up. The reason why I'm out here, the reason why I won't go back in there. But let me tell you, God's going to wipe out all excuse. Amen. You ain't going to go before God with an excuse. God ain't going to accept your reason. My God, God say, one thing God say, I give unto you all things. Do what? Pertain it to life. I, I give you what it Take to make you live godly. He said he was our example. Look all what he done suffer. That's it, Bishop. First test come, I'm going to say, I never go back. Read on. Yes, but they regard not the word of the Lord. Some people just don't regard the word of God. Read on. Neither consider the operation of his hand. Don't consider the operation of his hand. Therefore, my people are gone into captivity. Gone into captivity. Because they have no knowledge. No, no knowledge of the God. Honorable men are famished. That's why he's saying all you're getting, get understanding. Read on. The honorable men are famished. Read on. And the multitude dried up with thirst. Tried up with curse. Therefore, hell. My God, saints. This ought to make you tremble at his word. Have Has enlarged herself. Have enlarged herself. And open her mouth without measure. It's open the mouth without measure. without measure. And the glory and the multitude. People have all kind of stout words. I'll be there when you get there. I'll be there. But let me tell you. <laughs> hell. Hell. Enlarge herself. Enlarge herself. Open her mouth without measure. Without, you ain't gonna bust hell, brother. No it, in law is a is a bottomless pit. The more you bury you, you think you're gonna bust it, you're gonna fill it up. Yeah. <laughs> you piece of grass stalking so strong. Say it's gonna burn to the lowest hell. It's gonna burn up everything. Grass can talk big now. Oh, yes. <laughs> Sometimes if you didn't know the word of God, you know, you read on. Therefore, hell. Hell. Has enlarged herself. Enlarge herself. Open her mouth without measure. Without measure. And their glory and their multitude. And the multitude. And their pomps. Their pomps. And he that rejoices shall descend into People it. People out there just rejoicing. Shall descend into, into it. It. And the mean man. Oh, you come some mean men out there. Oh, yes. They get up cursing. They go to bed cursing. They're so mean. Mean man. And the mean man shall be brought down. <laughs> My God. You, uh, uh, you got some mean people now. Right about that. I remember day. once when I was in New York, I used to take the subway, and the morning hours, you know, everybody going try to beat the door before it closed. And everybody just push. And somebody pushed me and I, I pushed over to a man. And all of a sudden, I, I fell when the man pulled his feet and kicked me in my feet. And look a short man now. 
all I will do. I, I'm just saying, all I, I'm big old tall man. I have to just, but you know what I did? He, he kicked me. I didn't ask him why. I just spin around and keep going and spin into another couch. I say, I ain't going to stay there. I don't know what that man got in him. Some people can incite a riot, a trouble on yourself. I didn't question him why he, I, I felt it and I held my head up like I didn't feel any. And I keep easing and easing till I get away from him. Blessed are the peacemaker. Yes. I, I baptize up the Holy Ghost. Why didn't look me and this man arguing on the train? Yeah. Can you suffer that? Can you suffer? Man. If you endure, can you endure that thing? Some things you're going to have to endure now. Can you endure that test you're going through? Can you endure it? What did he say? And the mean man shall be brought down. You got some mean man. So you can't go back and tell. You know, in time past, Paul said he was an injurious man. He was very, he, he like, God bless. Paul was a dangerous man now. But after Paul got in the church, Hallelujah. he said, I'm less than the least. Yes. So what thing was gained to me? Yes. I, can you endure something for Christ's sake? Can you? Uh, is that, I think it's in 1 Peter. 1 Peter, I think 2.19. Uh, somewhere there, if I'm not mistaken, I could go. I'm just uh, saying you're going to have to endure a lot to stay on this highway of holiness. Uh, uh, Minister Joe was telling the truth. You got people going to talk about you to your face. That's right. They're going to despise you. Why do you think I'm still here? Next month, the beginning of next month, 47 years. But I'm still on board. Do you criticize? You gotta endure a lot, saints. You gotta in right in front. I don't often bring it up, but to show you how much you gotta endure, right in front of our later person. Um, Bishop, get up and serve it. Thank God, God sent me a true son, and I'm so happy. And Bishop, we're just thanking God for me. We went downstairs. Somebody, long term, young, got mad. And fussing over, I'm in the church, newly in the church. I'm going to school and I'm there sitting up thinking about another day in school. I'm a foreign student and my tradition and all this. And I'm there sitting, leaning up. In my lowest moment, the devil will hit you at your lowest moment. Say. The devil not going to attack you when you're on the mountain top. When you're out there shouting and everything. You are on your high, spiritual high. But then he will come at you. There was a day. My God, nobody going to be around. No music going to be playing. No clapping. My God, I'm here standing up. My old job offering me back. My job said, we're here waiting for you. We have your job for you. We know you're coming back. And I'm fighting the enemy. All of a sudden, at my lowest moment, I don't know this individual. But I, she, I heard the commotion, and when I look up, she walked right in my face and said, you too. And when I look, a load of spit hit me in my face. Saints, you're going to go through something to stay on this highway of holiness. I don't know nothing about it. Well, look, I have one suit and one tie. They wear it the Friday night. I look, run inside the bathroom, the men's room. It's like somebody threw a bucket of water on me. I just <laughs> get numb. Couldn't say a word. I run inside. When I look, I see the spit all over my face, all over my one suit, my one tie. I say, oh, Lord, you know what I tell God? Lord, don't let me suffer it in me. With tears running out my eye, the devil say, you better run. Next thing you're going to kill you, you better get out of here. No matter 
No father, no brother, no family member. Don't know nobody. Saints, you're going to go through something over here. But if you faint in the day of adversity, your strength is... How big is your strength when you faint? Oh, small. Go on, go on. You better get me. First Peter... Well, this is saints' word. That's why I don't envy. The later pastor used to say, don't envy nobody for the blessing. Amen. You don't know what they've been through to reach where they are. Amen. This is thanks worthy. For man for conscience toward God. Towards God. Endure grief. Can you endure that yes. test you're going through? Can you endure being talked about? Can you endure being in this spot? I have to endure that thing. Man. You think it didn't hurt me? This never happened to me in the world. But here I come in the church. That's where your test going to be. But I have to endure it. I then back agree. there, back there they used to have Sunday night, we are marching to Zion. And I, I go all the way up the front and we're singing. And I used to go beside the late sister Jeannie. And, you know, come and ma that person come and push her out the way and stand beside me. You're going to be going through some test things. And when say, we are ma, she turned her mouth to me. Like the devil said, she's going to spit again. I got mad and I said, you know, I can't take it. I'll start going downstairs, stop marching. Bishop Goodwin, he make up, he make you a bacalax. He know what I was doing. He said, yeah, some of you call yourself, you want to be like me, and you let the enemy run you. You don't let the enemy run you. You, you come and pray and get strong. That's it, you know I have to come on back. That's right. Still service going on, testimony. They came behind my back, and I'm there in service. And all of a sudden, they claim the clapping bomb in my head. And I keep talking. And a young person said, They used to one tell the mother, Why does this stop beating up that young man in his head? She said, That's the devil. That's not. The... But you know, if. Can you endure that test? Man. How you think God, you got to, you say, I have not proved thee. You're going to have to go through that Seven. test. If a man. Yes, for conscience towards God. And you know what, saints? I never tell any of my family member. None of them know. My brother, when he got here, Levi got baptized, and I never even get up tell it around when Bishop got. God didn't want her. I love him too much. Some people will get a hold of Bishop darling. No, you gotta consider one another, and never. When my brother got here, and way after one day he heard me telling it, he turned and looked at me. He said, "What you say?" I said, don't worry about it. <laughs> he, didn't, he wasn't able to bear it. Sometimes you tell, you drop something on somebody not able to bear it, and they can, you can stumble them. So let the strong bear the infirmity of the weak. You, you can't drop everything on somebody that you, he said, all things are lawful, but not expedient. Did you suffer? Yeah, it's true. But it's, you can't bear it. Read on. If a man for conscience towards God. Towards God. Endure grief. Can you endure that test that you're going through? Can you endure it for your sister's sake? For your brother's sake? Endure grief. Suffering. And you know, people that were there now, Bishop Gooden used to preach, say, watch the pusher. The pusher came at me. What he did, what he did. If we're anybody else, he, what? I just walk away. You see, we watch the pushes now. People will push you up. <laughs> you got put, I got a lot of pushers come push, try push me up. But if a man towards God, towards God, can you endure that test? Can you put it on your salvation, what you're going through? 
endure. They're going to tell somebody who they know going to come right back and tell you. They ain't going to tell somebody not because they want you to hear it back. But can you endure? Endure grief. Endure grief. Suffering. Suffering. Wrongfully. When you're suffering wrongfully, are you still going to fight? Read on. For what glory is it? Read on. If when ye be buffeted for your fault. Read on. Ye shall take it patient. Read on. But if when ye do well, that's suffer where, for it. That's where the test comes, saints. You just come to serve God. You do everything right. And then here come, you start suffering for it. Read on. But if you, when you do well and it, suffer for it. Can you do well and suffer for it? Make it patient. Devil wants to say, I ain't going to do nothing no more. If that's what I get it, that you ought to come back and do it more. Do it with a willing mind. Do whatever your hands find to do. Come on back and do it. Don't let people stop you. Program your salvation. Read on. This is acceptable with God. Do you hear what the man of God said? God accept it. Yes. This is acceptable. Acceptable with God. With God. For even here unto. Read on. Where you are called. Called. Because Christ also suffered for us. Consider what he went through in that it's body. For who? For us. us. Leaving us an example. He was our example. And say, we should we shall follow go his through your test. Say, don't let Bishop, Bishop watch the pushers. They come and push you up. And when you're ready, they watch you going out the door and they still here. You got to be a good fighter to stay oh, here yes, now. That's right. You got to endure hardness Man. as a good soldier. You going to hit some boys in, in labor, in, in good report, in evil. You can't be just look for the good report only. You're going to hit some evil report. Paul said, but he endure it all. For what, Paul? For the, can you go through that test? Consider for the elect's sake. Close me, get ready to close me. In, in, I think in 2 Corinthians chapter 11 and go to verse 21. Let me hear Paul's testimony. After all that he went through, listen what this man of God said. I love this way, saints. This is a good way. I don't find no fault in it. I don't find no fault in it. For they who are ready to die. For the name say, say, don't weep. I'm, I'm going to be bound. I'm not only going to be, I'm ready to die. For the name, you won't find me out there fighting and criticizing this way. No, sir. Have you been through anything? You ain't suffered. That's why you, you're so happy you're not going to criticize. But Paul said, our glory in this is Bishop's time, you ain't been through nothing. But Paul said, our glory. In what? Can you go through that test and get some joy? Amen. Can you go through and come out singing my song that, that Minister Joe says, still and bold? Can you go through it and say, I'm still and bold? Can you go through it and say, I oh, thank God I'm still and bold? God gave me that song while well, I was on a long fast. Downtown Manhattan, working in the high-rise building, and I was just suffering. My lip was dry, and I look out people at the lunch that eating the piece of jar and drinking all kind. And the devil said, "Look at you. Look at you. You look so pitiful. Look at you. Devil, talk to you now. I was in my twenties. Look at you." You go and do that and look at those people just lay out there doing construction and just having a good time. And, and I look up, the enemy is a wicked enemy now. Yes. He will he take Jesus up on the high mountain and show him all. Enemy let me up on the high rise. I have no rise. No, I was just fasting and the fire was getting my lip was dry. And, uh, I went to look outside. And then the devil said, look out there. Look at you. Look out there having a good time. And while he's talking to me, I say, but I thank God. I keep thanking God. 
I said, you is a liar. He said, look at you, look at I said, I thank God that I'm still and broke. I keep talking back to the devil. He said, he said, but look out. I said, I said, if my family don't come, I'm still and broke. And I keep saying, I thank God I'm still and broke. Till after a while, it turned into a song. I thank God. I came here that when Friday night, Wednesday night, and sing that song. Bishop Gooden said, Sammy, where you come up with that old one from? That sound like Bishop Johnson's song. I thank God I'm still on board. You know, say, God will take you through a test to encourage you, to lift you up. But can you go through that test? When you go through it, God will encourage you. Go through it, saints. Go through it. If you can just go through it and say, I won't complain. I never get up testify about what I've been to. I just come in here praising God. Shout and everything still rejoice. What you doing? I'm glory in my tribulation. Close me out. What did he say, sir? What did he say? Second Corinthians 11 chapter. And verse 21. Yes. What did he say? I speak as concerning reproach. You're going to go to some reproach over here. Read on. I speak as concerning reproach as though we have been weak. We have been. And then, and then it looked like you're weak. Yes. When you're going through it, somebody going to say, he's so weak. He can't even do nothing. Look at him. <laughs> Paul says, as though we have been weak. Read on. I'll be a server. Read on. In his bowl. Read on. I speak foolishly. Foolishly. I am bold also. Paul said, I'm bold also. Are they Hebrew? Say, you don't have to have the last word to be right. Sir. If you can endure that, you don't, sometimes you can't even say a mumbling word. Read on. Are they Hebrews? Hebrews. So am I. So am I. Are they Israelites? Read on. So am I. Read on. Are they the seed of Abraham? Read on. So am I. So am I. Are they ministers of Christ? Read on. I speak as a fool. Read on. I am more in laboring. Read on. More abundantly in stripes. Read on. More above measure. Read on. In prison more frequently in death often. Read on. Of the Jews five times received I forty stripes. Listen. Day one. We, he, it was unlawful for them to give him four. So I gave him 39. Five times. Save one. Read on. Twice was I beaten with the rod. With the rod. Once was I stoned. Twice they, I suffered. They stoned him and drew him out the city for dead. That's right, Bishop. Drew him out the city for dead. But the disciple prayed around him and he stood up and encouraged them, don't give up. Because we must through much tribulation yes. enter into the kingdom Praise of God. God. You're going to go through something. Amen. But you're going to make it. Read on. Right, I suffer shipwreck. Ship, shipwreck. Read on. Night and a day. A night and a day. Read on. In journey often. In journey in often. Pearls of water. Pearls of water. Pearls of robbers. Read on. Pearls by my own countrymen. Own countrymen. Praise God. Read on. And pearls by the heathen. By the heathen. And pearls in the city. In the city. In pearls in the wilderness. In the wilderness. And pearls in the sea. In the sea. And pearls among false brethren. What? Among false brethren. He were right there with them and they were false. Hmm. You got to go through something, saints. Oh, uh, yes. Well, you don't go around telling people you're false. You're That's not it, right. Bishop. <laughs> don't That's go you. around telling yes, them sir. you're not right. I know Amen. you're false. Don't do that now. Man. Don't do that now. Read uh, among, weird, fa among fa false brethren. False brethren. And weariness. Weariness. And painfulness. Painfulness. And watching often. Often. In hunger and thirst. Sometimes you're going to be hungry, saints. And what? And thirst. Thirst. And fasting often. My God, you got to fast now. I'm Bishop Green O'Mine Ox, the saints again Tuesday. Nine your head, six in the morning to six in the hour, evening, 12 hour fasting. What? Often. You, you see how God been. Blessing and give. You got to keep that fast and fasting and praying going up. Such thing only going out. Then one place, he said, in good report. And in what type of report? Evil. Evil. You think everybody going to speak good of you? Yes, <laughs> Minister Joe said, all that Bishop Sam do, somebody still. 
People still going to consider him. All what Jesus been through. Consider him. Lest what you said, Paul, lest you be weary. And in your mind. If you don't consider him, the enemy will start make your faith. But whatever you go through, but why you think after Paul went through it, then he was able to come back and write in Timothy, Timothy 3, 2 Timothy 3 and 1. What he said here? He said, This know also that in a lot of time. Perilous times you come. Perilous time is. You see, every time you go through a test, it gives you a testimony. Perilous time will come. Read on. Men shall be lovers of their own self. Love of their own self. Covetous. People covet you for no reason. Covetous. Boasting. Boaster. Proud. Full of pride. Blasphemers. Blasphemers. Disobedient to parents. Disobedient to parents. Parents. Unthankful. My God. Since you're going to run up against all this, they're unthankful. Unholy. They're unholy. Without natural affection. Natural affection. Truth breaker. Truth breaker. False accuser. False you. People, somebody going to run up against a lot. False accuser. Incontent. Incontent. Fierce. Fierce. Despise of those that are good. I don't care how good you do. Somebody going to despise you. Read on. Despise of those that are good. Read on. Traitors. Huh? Traitors. Traitors. Petty. Traitors. Mm -hmm. And what? Petty. Haiti. High minded. High people. High minded. Read on. Lovers of pleasure. Lovers of pleasure. More than lovers of God. More than lovers of God. Having a form of godliness. Form of godliness. But denying the power denying thereof. Denying the power thereof. From such turn away. Say, you, you, you got to know when to turn. Don't go with everything. When you see that spirit, you know you got to know when to turn. That's it, Bishop. But I have, that's why I can sing this song, I'm still and bold. Because I turn from a lot of people. Beginning for the next month is 47 years. But I'm still running. I never have nobody in the church that I know. I Man. just came in here with a letter in my hand. Tell me, here I hear you on the radio. And then he said, and he tell, instruct me what to do. And I humble myself, obey the man of God. And God have blessed me. Saying, you can get your victory. What did he say? They're denying the power thereof. Denying the power thereof. From such turn away. You, you better know when to turn. You got to know. You know, there's a lot of things you're going to have to know when to separate yourself. You, you should hang up with somebody and you say, you ain't talking right. Mm -hmm. You don't have to fuss with them and say, you That's ain't it, right. Bishop. That's right. But I just spin and leave and spin. I spin myself before you know it. I spin right away from them. And God somewhere, I ain't say a word to them. Bishop Gruden's them say, don't go and let people bring you down to the left. Get away from Man. it. Turn. You got to know the turn. Turn Moses tell, do, tell them, separate yourself from the tent of these wicked men. You got to know when to separate. You can't be so dedicated in that friendship. And they go down and they pull you right out with them. Don't let nobody pull that's you right, out, saints. Don't be too. You are so dead. That's my friend. That's my body. We school friend. We good. I don't care if you don't come from the same womb. Man. You better look at what Ruth did to offer. Naomi tried to show Ruth. Your sister-in-law done gone back. Turn again. My God, Ruth, not to look at who oh, had done gone back. Kiss and went back. But Ruth said, where you die, that's where I'm going to die. Man. Your people going to be my people. Your God going to be my God. Only death. You know, you got to have a well-made up oh, mind yes. to stay that's on it, board. The it. devil want to push you off board. Man. But you got to have a strong determination. Your right. mind made up. Man. I won't turn back. I'm going on with Jesus anyhow. What is it? 
Well, they saw are they which creep into houses. They, they will creep right in now. Huh? Be captive, silly women. You know, they will creep right in and evil affect your mind. Said Bishop. And lead you right out of here. That's why Paul said, if they come and don't bring this guy, don't receive them. Don't let them in. I don't listen to them. I don't listen to them on social. I don't care what they say. I tell them in Jacksonville, I admit, you got, you got, you got the excellency of speech. You got the letter. But Paul said the letter kill it. But the spirit, we got the spirit. We got the spirit. We ain't going after the letter. We ain't going off there. We wrestle till you get power with God like Jacob. What is that? But they saw they which creep into houses. Don't let that creep in on your saints. Don't turn them on on the radio. Don't let the creep in on the social media. Amen. I don't care who, who sent it to you. Send me the link. I block the link. Get out of here with it. I don't want your link. Get out of here. Don't send me no link now. My God, what's the matter? I'm contending for the faith. Don't send me your link now. Stay out of here with your link. Don't come with your link. Get rid of your link. Don't you send me no link now. What's the matter? I'm churning. I'm contending for the, some people love every link. Do you see this link? And they try to see me. I say, oh. don't show me that link. Don't show me that link. When they got it, they burn up all the rest of the books. Right. Don't show me that link now. Right? They say, creep in. You better don't let creep the creep the in. I'm telling you, if they creep in on you, you know what it's going to do? Evil communication. What it's going to do? It's going to corrupt. Man. You don't think that thing can affect you? You keep staying at it long enough. After a while, it's going to be like a canker. Mm -hmm. Eat up everything. Say so the word will eat. That's a canker. You're going to start saying, you know the right. You know the right. You got to know how to erase it. What? They will creep in. Into houses. Say, watch what you let creep in your house. Watch what you let creep in your house. Lead into captive, houses. Lead captive, silly women. David say, I'm going to behave my, even in my house. Man. Watch what you let in your house. Read on. And lead captive, silly women. After a while, let take somebody out of here. Read on. Lead captive, silly women. Silly women. Laid with sin. Read on. Led away with diverse lusts. They led you right away. But what? Ever learning. Ever learning. Never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Read on. Now Janus and Jamboree withstood Moses. Read on. So do these also resist the truth. Resist. They're resisting the truth. Yes. Men yeah. of corrupt how am I going to get with somebody resisting the truth? Amen. Can hey. two walk together except they agree? Hey. That's right. I used to go on the field. Bishop Lewis, me and uh, other group, we go to uh, Philly. We go to, and person with me, start resisting the truth. I said, oh, no, that's another spirit. What? Both of us riding in the car together, and you come. I said, mm -mm. you, I ain't never go on the field no more with you. Something wrong. <laughs> you corrupt, you're resisting the truth. After a while, they're finally gonna be made manifest. Yes. Resisting right. the truth. Yes, man what? of corrupt mind. Corrupt man. Reprobate. You gonna let are you think I was gonna sit in the car with them and get, let they corrupt me? I go out witness, people coming in, get baptized, we rejoicing. They're speaking against the late Bishop Gunnar. I said, Oh no. You was a minister and you resisting the truth. Mm. Come on, Bishop. Resist what is that? Resist the truth. Read on. Men of corrupt mind. Men of corrupt mind. You're going to run up against people with corrupt mind, saints. Don't be so dedicated to them till you let them come right come on, in Bishop. and corrupt That's you. It. That's it. Don't let them come in and corrupt you. Read on. Men of corrupt mind, reprobate. Reprobate. Concerning the faith. Concerning the but faith. But they shall proceed no further. Huh? 
They shall proceed no further. No further. For their folly shall be manifest mm -hmm. unto all men. And to all men. As theirs also was. Read on. But thou hast fully known my doctrine. You know the doctrine, say. Why? I don't care what title they have to the name. I say, Bishop. Anytime you see they come and start resist the truth, mm -hmm. I don't care what tie could they have to the name. You better know when to turn. That's right. I turn away from a lot of people. That's what keep me here next month, 47 years, still and bold. Came in at a young age, 21. Man, read on. But thou hast fully known my doctrine. Stay in the doctrine. Man of light. Don't stay in the doctrine. Man. It ain't no good thing to see two brothers debating. That you brothers, why are we debating the scripture? Why are we so in discord among brethren? Bishop Lewis could tell. We go over there. We've been over there till 9 o'clock. Uh, come on now. He's coming on the radar. Tune in to him. Double Double DJ. Bishop Randall of Gooden, Mother Sam, we all over the place, passing out tracks. And we come back, and Sunday morning, they call, we done shut up. Gone to pick them up, come in the church, and we sit beside them just as happy as can be. Soon as we baptized, they stood up for the baptism. My God, we were so happy. You don't want to be around people, spiritual wickedness, where it is, high places. Got tied to the name, but the spirit not right. Anytime you see they resist one thing, you better draw away from that yes. spirit. The spirit of truth will not fight never, the spirit never, of never, truth. Bishop. You will not fight. Amen. I won't fight what Bishop Green preach. I won't fight what Bishop Goodwin preach. Bishop Johnson preach. Something wrong with that. That's right. The spirit of truth will not fight the spirit of truth. But that spirit of error, brother, I jump out the car with him. You never get me back on the field. I rather walk. I rather go on the bus and pass out track. You never get me back in your car. Why? You're resisting the truth. Many a day, what? What is it? You guys fully know my doctrine. The same. We have no excuse. Amen. What Apostle Paul say? Thou art inexcusable. Oh, man. Brother Jackson out in Chicago. He's been hearing this for so many years with Bishop Randolph Good. That's Amen. why we get ready to say, I'm coming to New York. I'm coming to New York. I know what I heard. I ain't going somewhere else. It's that Gilbert come right here. All of you come right here. Don't go with somebody who resisted calling the man of God liar, man that have hazarded their life for the name, and I'm going to sit up with them? Never. Never. Men that have given their life to preach the gospel, and then I'm going to go there. Resist the truth. Yes. What? Yes. Finish. But thou hast fully known my doctrine. Saints, all of us, we have been well taught. Amen. Mother Sam testified. She don't have no excuse. She came up with her father. She told me how she used to be around Bishop Johnson. Well, when Bishop Johnson come, her father there in the church, and all of them come Brooklyn. And, you know, say, they have known the truth. Thou have what? Fully know my doctrine. All of you have known the doctrine. Read on. Man of life. You know every one of you here. You were brought up right. Your parents struggle and labor to bring you up in the truth. We have no excuse. All of you, the Livingston family, the Lennon family, I see Brother Barzell, the Simmons, and all of you struggle up. Every one of you say, I see David hold up his hand in the back. David, you're right. Brother David say, I know, you see, Minister Gerard, all of you, every one of you and me, you've been around so long. The Peters, all of you, 
Mother Peter used to tell me how she struggled go to Philly. Come to see him visit of dicks and all of that. All of you have, we don't have no excuse, saints. And say, Bishop. You know what's the problem? That's right. You know what? But, but he are willingly. We have no excuse. Don't let nobody fool you. We were taught right. Oh, yes. Thou have fully. Thou has fully known my doctrine. Hey, come on. We're looking for a excuse. But he said, you have fully. Fully known my doctrine. Known my doctrine. Manner of life. Manner, you know the manner of life. Praise God. You know, man, come tell me about clothes. Joseph, have a coat of many <laughs> The devil is a... I hit them back with, with Jacob. Jacob, make him a go. I said, the same Jacob that change your garment. Put away your string and be clean. Let I don't have time for all that. Read on. Man of life. Man of life. Purpose. Purpose. Faith. Fa you know the faith that I've been preached among us. Why are you going to let somebody? I look at all in the back. I'm looking at Sister Shame, Shandy. I'm looking at. Uh, uh, the tomb, Sister Maria, <laughs> I preached one night and she came up here. She said, she stood up to me and said, Bishop, I thank God for the word. She said, I've listened to Bishop Goodwin old tape. You know, God will make you go back and listen. That's it, Bishop. <laughs> the late Mother Chisholm said, let me tell you, I, I, I eat the flesh and spit out the bone. <laughs> she was a whole back of us now. You know the doctrine, saints? You see, I look at the, the Diggs them. Their brother Diggs. Mother Diggs. Mother Diggs. No. Press on over here with them. Say, there is a leak in the building. That's it. I got to move yes, to a bed. You fully known the doctrine. Read on. Man of life. Oh, that like you fully known the doctrine. And it's a teach it to your children, your children, children. The one that's going to be born. You have fully known it. You don't have to come and try to tell. You already know it. You are fully know. All we have to do is tell you, Bishop Goodwin, Bishop Goodwin used to go out of town and all Bishop Green get up. And Bishop Green said, I ain't going to bring you anything new. What are you going to bring? Continue thou in the things which thou have learned. Being assured. He said, all you got to do now, I ain't going to bring you nothing new. I'm going to tell you to continue. Because you have fully no known doctrine. the doctrine. Man of life. Manner of life. Purpose. Purpose. Faith. Faith. Long suffering. Oh, you know the long suffering. Read on. Charity. Charity. Patience. Pa it takes so much patience. Oh, yes. Patience. Persecution. You're going to be persecuted for this, saints. Read on. Affliction. Af you're going to be afflicted. Which came unto me at Antioch. At Antioch. Iconium. At Iconium. And at Lestria. At Lestria. What persecution? What persecution? I endure. Can you endure that thing? Can you endure? Man, I want to say, I'm going through my test. Uh, here, all of my people, I'm going to Brother Basel. Uh, he went and God brought out Brother Basel. God is a healer. <laughs> all of you, why the saints crying out, pray for me. Uh, but I'm enduring. Everyone that's going to live, what persecution? God. I endure. Yes, and I what? endure out of them all. Out of, wait, saints. God is a you coming out. Whatever you're going through now, God said, out of them all. The Lord deliver me. Out of them all. Out of them all. Oh, deliverance coming. Deliverance will come. Out of them all. Out of them all. Out of them all. I don't care what it is. Out of them all. Who deliver him? The Lord. The Lord. Hallelujah. He deliver me. Yea, and all that going to live godly. In Christ, in Christ Jesus. Jesus. Don't, don't think you're going to live godly and don't go through something. But God going to deliver you. 
Why? Because what you say, how are you going to deliver me, son? Because the Lord know how to deliver. You coming out saying, I don't care about it. Look, the Lord know how to deliver the godly out of temptation. He know how. I don't know how, but God know how. I don't see my way, but he got the way out of them all. Not out of some of them. Out of them all. The Lord deliver me. He's a deliverer. He will deliver because the Lord know how to deliver. Whatever you're going through, turn it over to the Lord. Just turn it over. You better know how to turn it over when sickness come. See, I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to turn it over because he know how. Yeah. Somebody say, turn it over to Jesus. Turn it over. Turn it over. Turn it over. Come on, church. Why? The Lord know how. God bless you. God keep.